स्टूडेंट जस्ट यू हैव लर्न किच ऑफ लॉ आफ्टर नोइंग किच ऑफ लॉ इट इज वेरी गुड टू लर्न न्यूमरिकल बेस्ट ऑन दिस सो दिस वीडियो हेल्प यू हाउ टू यूज किच ऑफ लॉ इन डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ न्यूमरिकल फॉर दैट आई हैव ड्रॉन अ सर्किट डायग्राम हेयर इन दिस सर्किट डायग्राम यू हैव टू डिटरमाइंड आई करंट ऑन दिस लुक लेट एस सी अ सर्किट डायग्राम हेयर हैव अ बैटरी ऑफ टेन वोल्ट टेन ओम रजिस्टेंस and this current i when reaches at point a this is sub divide into two part this is said to be i1 this is said to be i minus i1 when current reaches from b let it be i2 so the current from b to c is i1 minus i2 when current reaches from a to d at the same time current come from b to d so i2 and i minus i1 will add up so here we have i minus i2 plus i minus i1 plus i2 when this current reaches c point then b current reaches the c point so we add this two current so when you add this two so minus i1 plus i1 cancel out here i2 and i2 will cancel out so we have current i here now you have to find i for that we are using kirchhoff voltage law in different loop first of all you have to see how many variables are here here we have three variables variable number 1 is i second is i1 and next is i2 so you have to generate minimum three equations to solve this numerical the first equation will generate in the loop using a b d a use use kvl in loop loop is a b d a b d a now in loop a b d a you move from a to b current is also going from a to b so product of resistance and current is positive so this mean that 10 i1 when you move from b to d it is plus 5 i2 when you move from d to a you are moving from d to a direction of traversal but direction of current is from a to d so it is minus here minus 5 under bracket i minus i1 it is equal to 0 because in this loop there is no emf now arrange this equation in simplest way so you have 10i1 10i1 plus 5i2 minus 5i plus 5i1 equal to 0 now this i1 is here and i1 is here so 5 plus 10 is 15 i1 plus 5 i2 minus 5 i equal to 0 divide this with 5 you have 3 i1 plus i2 minus i equal to 0 let this be equation number 1 now use kvl in loop b c d b so using kvl in loop b c d b what do we have you have when you move from b to c your direction is b to c and direction of current is also from b to c so you have 5 under bracket i1 minus i2 when you move from c to d direction of your is traversal is c to d but direction of current is from d to c opposite so you have to take minus sign minus 10 under bracket i minus i1 plus i2 when you move from d to b then this is 5 Uh, this is when you move from d to b then you are moving d to b current is from b to b to d so write minus sign minus 5 5 i2 this is equal to 0 now you have also have to write in simplest form so this is 5 i1 minus 5 i2 minus 10 i plus 10 i1 plus 10 i2 Minus five i two equal to zero. Now find i one. I one is here. I one is here. So ten and five is fifteen i one. Find i two. I two is here. I two is here. I two is here. 
now see that uh, here i am right i have written it is plus this will be minus this will be minus 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 is here so minus 10 only plus will be at this side so minus 5 minus 10 minus 5 minus 20 i2 go slow while solving the numerical and now next is uh, i so i is only here so you write 10 i this is equal to 0 now divide it again by 5 so you have 3 i 1 you have uh, 4 i 2 you have 2 i which is equal to 0 equation number 2 now using kvl in loop the loop is a b c e f a so the loop is a b c e f a when you move from a to b you have 10 i 1 because your direction and direction of current is same when you move from b to c it is plus 5 i 1 minus i 2 when we move from c to e nothing when we move from e to f you, your direction and direction of current is same so you have 10 i now this is equals to 10 because emf is 10 you are moving from e to f so minus 2 plus now again arrange it so it is um, 10 i1 plus 5 i1 minus 5 i2 plus 10 i equal to 10 so this is equals to 10 i1 and 5 i1 15 i1 and here you have minus 5 i2 plus 10 i is equals to 10 divide it by 5 again you have 3 i1 minus i2 plus 2 i is equals to 2 this is equation number 3 now we have generated the three equations the way to solve the three equation is solve this first equation with the third equation solve this second equation with the third equation then solve that two equations so the method is solve solving solving equation equation number uh, one and two what is equation number one equation number one is three i1 plus i2 minus i equal to 0 and what is the question number 3 not this is 1 and 3 solve 1 and 3 3 is 3 i1 minus i2 plus 2 i is equals to 2 you have to simply add this equation add this equation this i will cancel out here 3 plus 3 is 6 i1 here you have 2 and here you have 1 so this is equals to i and that side you have equals to 2 you get 6 i1 plus i equals to 2 this will be equation number 4 now solve equation number 2 along with equation number 3 solve solving equation 2 and 3 equation 2 is write the equation to 3 i1 minus 4 i 2 minus 2 i equal to 0 write equation number 3 this is equation number 3 3 i 1 3 i 1 next is minus i 2 next is plus 2 i it is equals to 2 remember here you have eliminated i 2 so here you also have to eliminate i 2 for eliminating i2 here is 4 so we have to multiply this second equation with 4 and subtract this not add we are subtracting this equation so this will cancel out now see here it is 3 into 4 12 12 minus 3 is 9 so you have minus 9 i1 here and here you have 2 into 4 this is 8 with a minus sign and minus is also here so minus 8 and minus 2 is minus 10 i and this side 2 into 4 minus 8 you eliminate only the minus sign so 9 i 1 plus 10 i is equals to 8 this will be equation number 5 now solve equation 4 and equation 5 and eliminate i 1 solving 
सॉल्विंग इक्वेशन फोर एंड फाइव सो इक्वेशन फोर इज सिक्स आई आई वन प्लस आई इक्वल्स टू टू एंड दिस इक्वेशन इज यू हैव दिस इज नाइन आई वन प्लस टेन आई दिस इज इक्वल्स टू एट now you have to eliminate this so you have to subtract this subtract this now here you have 6 here you have 9 the you so when 6 is multiply by 2 uh, when 6 is multiply by 3 it become 18 so multiply it by 3 18 and when 9 is multiply by 2 it again become 18 9 in 9 into 2 9 into 2 18 6 into 3 18 so it will be eliminated now here you have 10 into 2 20 and here you have 3 3 minus 20 plus 3 is minus 17 i and here you have 8 into 2 16 minus 16 and here 2 into 3 6 that is 6 minus 16 plus 6 you 10 is here with a minus sign with a minus sign so i is equals to 10 by 17 ampere you get the current i using kirchhoff law thank you must subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for notification and further informations on physics thank you